Uh, you know, I'm not a good prophet when it comes to predicting threats that are looming on the horizon. Sometimes I get it right, but sometimes I don't. Uh, and when the emerging church movement was beginning to decline, and I was thankful for that because it was a bad movement, People a lot of times ask me, what do you think is the next thing on the horizon? And I said, well, the emerging church movement may be dying as a movement, but all the ideas they were infusing into the minds of young evangelicals are like dandelion seeds that will bear, you know, lots of weeds in the years to come. And that's exactly what happened. I was correct with that prediction uh, because the social justice movement, you know, came out of that. And that was one of the central themes of the emerging church movement. They were all about social justice. They had everything to say about it. So this wasn't a fresh idea when more mainstream evangelicals began to pick it up and parrot it uh, around 2015 or thereabout. Uh, and yet uh, it, it's, it's a dangerous idea because what is usually defined as social justice is a lot of ideas about equity that are not biblical at all, but rooted in Marxist ideas about, you know, we're people who don't even work should be able to eat, but scripture says no. So it's not a biblical idea of justice, and it's the effect of it has been to divide the church, and the, the focus on uh, racial strife, ethnic strife, for example, has done more to divide the church than anything I can remember in the last 50 years. So I was right to say that's on the horizon. I did not foresee the fact that uh, the government's, uh, the, the and not just our government, governments worldwide responding to COVID would result in a shutdown of churches and that in turn would divide evangelicals into two camps of opinion. Should we obey these rigid restrictions and, and is that really an expression of love for our neighbors or should we continue to proclaim the gospel and visit the sick and do the things that we're called to do as Christians? Uh, I didn't foresee at all that uh, the response to a virus might be more divisive to the church than, uh, you know, something like the social justice movement. But it happened, and it happened with such speed and ferocity that uh, I just shook my head and thought, I didn't see that coming. So I don't know what's coming next. I, I know that there are wave after wave of satanic attacks against the church and that each one tends to be worse than the previous one. And so I think, you know, once the current issues get settled, that's not going to be the end of the matter. Something worse will come along. And the only way to prepare for that, because we don't know what's coming, is to continue to preach the gospel and devote ourselves to the gospel and understand that that's what the forces of evil want to pull us away from, the, our focus on the gospel. And the gospel, as defined by Christ, is about repentance from sin and the forgiveness that he offers through his atoning work. So uh, if we keep that the focus, I think we're prepared then to answer whatever threat Satan throws at us. But he's going to try to pull us away from that and whatever it is, we need to be prepared.